It's time for the mid-month check-in on my no spend month challenge for September. This is going to help me get my spending under control because the summer was crazy. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm sharing my health and wealth journey to pay off $150,000 in debt. I've already paid off $50,000. I have $100,000 to go. And I share my health journey, which I really am overdue to share or check in with you guys on that. Anyway, that's another video for another time because today we're checking in on my mid-month spending of my no spend challenge. Oh my goodness, it's a mouthful. Let's check out and see how it's been going. We have already gone over all of this stuff, so you could check that out in my budget by paycheck video from September 8th. Um, I did put some money towards debt, although I think that I talked about the 400, yeah, I did because that was the last payday, the $400. I didn't think my bank had, had done the transfer to the mortgage account. And so I, just did it manually. And then a couple hours later, the bank did the automated. So their system must have just been behind. Luckily, I had money in my buffer account. So I covered that with no problem. And I just said to my husband, well, I'm just going to consider that uh, paying back for my car repair. That was several hundred dollars. But what I didn't share yet is this $43 payment for my Perkins loan. You'll see the Perkins loan is on here twice because originally I didn't think that I was going to have to make that payment this month. However, I did get an update that my payment was due October 1st. So I thought I'm just going to go ahead and send the payment in. It's $43. And actually, I... I'm looking over here on my bulletin board, I will be able to submit for a reduction to my Perkins loan and that should wipe out that federal loan. My dog is pacing, so we gotta get her out for a... You know what that means now, don't you? Yeah, okay. Then let me make my video and then... That's what we'll do, yeah. Okay, let's go over here to spending. I had purchased some small trash can liners from Amazon for $7.94. Bought my own gas, $11.05. I didn't fill up, obviously. And I went to lunch for $16.09 on the 8th. That was last Friday, I think. I did use my credit card. I like to use my credit card instead of my debit card just because I feel like it's more secure. The Dollar Tree 258, that was a Diet Coke. Sheets is a gas station where I grabbed lunch one day after work. That was $9.59. I got some uh, science supplies from the Dollar Tree, $7.73. I went to Dairy Queen uh, after work one day. It was an extremely hot day. And I don't know, I, my body just needed some sugar. So that was $5.29. I took myself out for dinner to Subway. Why was that $19.12? That's got to be an error. That's probably $9.12. I'm going to check on that. Um, this morning I took myself for breakfast to the gas station, $5.60. And then um, it's my coworker's birthday, so I picked up a dozen cupcakes from one of the specialty bakeries in our area. Really looking forward towards that treat tomorrow um, and just bringing some camaraderie to our team. Over here, you guys already know, last week I spent $14.31 on groceries. And then this week I spent $36.23. That was for, I think, five meals. Anyway, we should be able to get through the weekend with those groceries. And then next week I'll have to get some more. We still have a good amount of stuff that we could be eating from out of our freezer. So I imagine that for the rest of the month, we will be spending very little on groceries. So I give us $300. On groceries, we spent $62.54 so far. So we did have $237.46 left over. Now we did go out to Smoky Bones on Friday night. We just needed to get out of the house and not have to worry about cooking and cleaning up and all of that. So I said, you know what? 
we will go out, but we're going to take it out of the $300 budget for the month. So considering if we take that $50 out that we spent, it was somewhere around 50. Next time we go, I'm going to save the receipt. So I'm estimating at $50, that means we have $187.46 left to spend for the month over the next, I guess it's about two weeks, 15 days. That is actually, I'm really proud of us for that because normally we'll go out two or three times a week. So if you, that's like $50 every time. That's $150 a week. I could spend anywhere, like I'll go to Sam's Club once or twice. No, I might go to Sam's Club weekly and I'm spending about $100 a week, if not a little bit more than that. But then I also have to go to other stores to get the other groceries. Um, and I try to go to Aldi's and I can usually spend about $70 a week there plus picking up things here and there. So having a clear plan of what meals we can make with the food that we have and only picking up the things that we truly need has really, really, like we've just gotten this spending so under control. I think we're going to bring this restricted grocery budget into the month of October. Uh, we have a few things going on in October, which I'll talk about in the October bu budget video that will be out in a couple weeks. Um, but I, I really think, what did we spend so far? We spent 62 plus 50, so about $111, uh, in the last two weeks or the first half of the month. So I think we're going to be good for the next half of the month. And I think we might even be able to go out to dinner again before the end of the month. I was thinking about doing the rest of the month like vlog style. So let me know how you feel about that. Let me know how your no spend challenge is going or if you're just sticking to your budget for the month. I don't have to be on a no spend challenge. Oh, and don't forget to go over to my friend Becky's channel. She's also doing a low spend September. We both have pretty spendy summers. Her channel is The Good Kind of Midlife Crisis, which is linked down below. That's it for now. I'll see you.